Yo, what is up, Loud and Proud crowd? I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. I'm actually in Worcester, Ohio. Absolutely beautiful out here. We're out here in a mall's place, but just look at the views of just like hills and trees and just pines along the hillside. I mean, it's just beautiful out here. So, um, anyways, I don't know exactly what we're going to be doing. I know my uncle's grabbing mulch right now and some other stuff, and he wanted to do something with his farm equipment, get it out, clean it up, and get stuff ready and prepped for hay season, which is starting here soon for him as well. They do all their own hay, you know, like we, we just have somebody, we pay to bail it and stuff, and then we just store it, but he actually does all that stuff. He's got a lot more equipment than we do, nonetheless, but... I'm not sure if we're gonna be looking at any trucks today. I might just kind of tag along, film some stuff. Yeah, it just kind of depends on what happens. He's also looking for a farm truck because he's been looking for one for several months now. There's a couple that I kind of looked at online that I thought for him would be a suitable farm truck. He's looking for something, give or take 20 grand or less. So yeah, we'll see. If we find something, definitely pull up the camera and get some filming done. So we're actually headed to a different farm that he kind of does. He bales hay and stuff on, and he stores some equipment over there. He's got an old Maxim. I don't know what year it is. I don't know all the details on it. He would know more than me. He's he's a semi guy. Like he loves old trucks. I think his dad was a semi driver for years, and that might be what he does still. He loves semi, so he has one. He's had one for several years now. He got all restored and stuff, and. It looks really cool. I think it looks really cool, but I'll let you guys kind of hear from him just kind of a little bit about the truck. We're gonna start up for the first time in a year, okay? So this truck hasn't been ran in about a year, and he's just like, I just wanna go get this truck and see if I can start up and get it running again, you know, for uh, for this next season coming around. I haven't been around this truck in a long time. I rode in it with him one time, but that was a long time ago. I think it's gonna be kind of cool. First start up in a year for an old Mack Semi. Of soot. You see a lot of soot up there. Okay, so this is my uncle, one of my favorites, and uh, he's got this Max over here. I just wanted to go through a couple things like when you got it, why you got it, your passion for semis. That sure. Kind of thing. Yeah. So, so I hate to say it, but trucking's in my blood. Um, <laughs> you know, my dad and two brothers, uh, all truck drivers, and my two brothers are owner operators. So. Mac is kind of like a childhood favorite because that's what my dad drove. He drove initially U model Max. A lot of you guys, older gentlemen out there, will know what I'm talking about. And then further along in his career, um, he worked up to an R model, which is what this is. And so as a young lad, I remember my younger brother and I many times going on a trip with my dad, getting up you know two or three in the morning. And there's just nothing like a Mack truck. You can't hardly kill him. Um, like Malachi and, and his channel, um, kind of amazing on, on good old trucks, you know what I'm saying? And uh, so yeah, a lot of sentimental value. So this is, I believe, an 89. Actually, believe it or not, it was a gift from a business partner of mine. We have a hay uh, making process uh, company on the side that we raise hay and, and bale hay and sold it down to, to a guy down in Florida who passed away about three years ago. But this was his original truck he buys hay from us in Ohio, trucks it down to, of all places, Naples, Florida. You can imagine that. Um, and so this was his first hay truck from Florida, had no rust on it, but it was an absolute putrid brown. Um, it's kind of like a butterscotch brown when I got it. Um, it was extended out. He had extended the frame out. He was gonna add a sleeper, a single bunk sleeper on the back of it was his plan. and. My business partner who also sells hay to him, he ended up working out a deal where he bought it. It was dirt cheap as you can imagine, but with the hopes that I would be able to cart his trailers around. And so, uh, yeah, that was about 10 years ago. It was a Christmas present, quite a present, mind you. So at the time, I had a staff member whose husband does some tinkering on the side, and so he painted it the colors of the company that my dad used to drive for called Apgar Brothers in New Jersey. And so that's the green and cream and uh, 
kind of like I said, sentimental value on the color. It's not perfect, but it is. It's a good farm truck. So it's just really dirty right now. Yeah, too. it's just <laughs> we're we're getting it out. It's sat all year. Yeah, we're gonna see if it fires up. Hopefully, it fires up. If it does, it'll smoke like a mac. I can promise you that. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna try to clean it up, ready for hay season here. Awesome. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Just look at the frame, though. It's just clean. Everything got repainted. We've got a couple of. Uh, uh, battery disconnect, quick disconnect, so it doesn't drain the batteries down. All of you uh, diesel guys know you're not supposed to use ether. ether. <laughs> However, for old green here, we might have to give it a shot just because it's sat. So I'm gonna have Malachi's help in spraying it into my air cleaner here. Don't try this at home. No. <laughs> Seriously, stickers all over the Cummins trucks do not spray ether or starting fluid. So what I'm actually doing right now is I'm gonna meet up with him up ahead. He just got the truck all washed and detailed. So I'm actually gonna meet up, you know, kind of cut out on this dry pavement right here and uh, go up and meet up with him where he's gonna be pulling out of the driveway, kind of meeting up with him and see if we can get a little bit of clip of him pulling out onto the road up there in that truck. I see him waiting up ahead here, so. <laughs> Rolling coal, man. Look at that son of a gun. Holy smokes. That's awesome. <laughs> they don't make them like they used to, boys. <laughs> EPA don't want anything to do with that. <laughs> what the heck? Comment down below who all out there appreciates these old school semis, these old school rigs, and the essence of them, man. They're just cool. And the scenery around here, guys, look at the just massive hills and absolutely gorgeous. Look at the view. Just a little farm vlog I thought I'd throw up for you guys. Just kind of uh, running around with my uncle today, doing mulch, throwing down rock, getting some of his hay equipment ready for the season and stuff like that. So just kind of thought I'd let you guys tag along and see what we're doing. Something else you should know about my uncle, he loves John Deere. Like I said, he does all of his own hay farming. They do all their own stuff, every step of the process. So he's got a, he's got a collection here, tractors he puts to work every year. 7210. 
an old 620, an old 6140, or just a newer one, obviously. Not new, brand new, but newer. This one's probably late 90s. I know this one's real, really old. Yeah, quite the collection. Well, my truck here is filthy, so I'm gonna give it a good old spray down. A little start up here for you guys before we wash it. Okay guys, so I'm out here, just washed my truck off and everything. Everything is going smooth, going great. I started to pressure wash my tailgate, and I pressure wash it over, pressure wash it back over. I actually parked in the shade right here, so that um, air dry, drip dry, because I don't have any towels out here, and not be in the sun, try to keep it from spotting up. But I got back to the tailgate, and after a few swipes back and forth, back and forth, I noticed the rear badging started to peel up. And obviously this truck doesn't have any down the sides anyways because they had removed it but the rear badging just started to peel off and I was like what the heck you know like what is going on it just started to peel off but I noticed underneath how it is black so it looks like they had already taken it off then they painted the truck and then they tried to put factory badging back on the tailgate maybe but and it's actually peeling off not bad at all it's just like falling off so what I think I'm gonna do this is totally not planned at all it just kind of Happened a pressure wash and just this corner came up really bad. So I was like, you know what? Let's just see if we can remove it. I'm gonna be easy because I don't want any paint peeling. I don't want any paint issues on this truck too. Like I already have to get done with the dually, but it looks like it hasn't been on there all these years. It looks like maybe I don't know for sure, but maybe they had taken it off and they tried to put it back on like factory with new strips before they obviously after they kind of restored it. You know, try to put something nice and easy like. Now I can keep this in case the winter uh, that maybe they choose this truck and they want to keep the badging, but since it kind of came off itself, I just figured they're gonna just take it on off. Especially if it can come off so clean. Oh my gosh, I never would have thought that underneath. So many people cut corners with paint jobs and storing vehicles, you know, just tape it off and don't paint underneath it, but it looks like uh, these people, the people I bought it off of, they really did it right, man. I mean, obviously this adhesive came off, but, you know, I don't, I don't really care. It's the fact that they actually took it off, painted everything underneath here, and then tried to put it back to look factory, um, but not cut corners. And this white line here, it it rubs off. It's nothing. But, look at this. So if you guys see this man, what's what's his name? Shoot, I totally forgot. Uh, Nick. Nick. I think it's Nick and his dad's name is Rick. Thank you guys so much for uh, doing it this way. This makes it uh, way easier for me. Like, I haven't stopped the camera one time yet. And it literally has taken me I don't know, a minute and a half to do this job. 
So this is not a flaw. I don't look at this as a flaw that that came off. I look at that as a huge thank you so that I don't have to get paint work done on the tailgate or something if it was on there and not matching or, you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying. That guy gave me a little bit of trouble, but nothing much. Not bad at all. Wow. It looks really good. It looks really good. That's the one thing I was kind of concerned about. I was like, ah, do I want to take the tailgate badging off? I don't know. I don't know if it's the same color underneath. I don't know if they painted underneath. Did they only do everything but that? Or, you know what I mean? Because I like how they already had all the badging off the side. So nicely done. I was like, I'm just hoping the tailgate was done, but I didn't want to rip that off to find out, you know. Not this close to a giveaway. Have to get it into the shop for paint and stuff, but man, that looks good. I just got to take a microfiber towel and wipe this little white line off, but that paint is like glass when it's clean, man. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So when you guys see this again, thank you so much for taking that off. You never, I mean, you didn't know I was going to be the guy buying it, but... Oh, huge relief. So thank you guys so much. Show you guys a final product here. Looks really, really good. I mean, there's no, that's gravel down behind through the crack of the tailgate there. But there's no paint flaws at all underneath there. It was perfect, perfect. Well, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Just kind of some, I had to run my cousin my younger cousin back up here to his place, you know, at, uh, at my uncle's place. And I just figured I'd stay the night here and just kind of do a day vlog up here. It was a good day. Got some work done and we also got to have a little fun. You know, got to film the Mac and got to clean the truck, which is a pain in the butt because the pressure washer kind of sucked. But I got to clean the truck and uh, got to get that badging off, which is just kind of like a blessing in disguise. I had no idea that was going to happen. I just kind of was pressure washing and then just kind of peeled off and I was like what in the heck at first I was kind of freaked out I was like oh my gosh I'm like please do not tell me that badging is coming off and it's like gonna be messed up underneath because I'm like I just I can't deal with that right now I looked underneath and the adhesive started to peel off super easy I was like shoot I'm just gonna take this right off it looks mint underneath you know so um, it looks like it was like taken care of like they took it off got all the adhesive off and then they painted the whole truck and then they added the badging back on. That's what I've been thinking, but I don't know for sure. I haven't talked to him about it. That's gonna be the end of this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did, smash that thumbs up, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think of the Mack truck, the rolling the coal, that, that, I love that truck. Also, let me know what you guys think of the new tailgate on this truck, not new tailgate, but the new look of the tailgate without the badging. I think it's pretty sick and it turned out awesome. It was just kind of a random thing to happen. Looks super super good. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments below. Leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Join the team. Join the family. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.